Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? HFM back with another tutorial video for you guys, and today we're gonna find out, or well, I'm gonna teach you on how to uh, change the light states through scripts, and it's a very small, very easy script. Um, I want to do a trigger use where I don't know you press a button and then you go from day to night time or vice versa. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna include any prefabs because I don't have any prefabs as of today right now because it's so simple and uh, you know if you want like actual prefabs like triggers and stuff then you can just go ahead and let me know but what I made right now is if I just end the round okay it's not gonna work on the first round I believe but um, what I did is every single round it changes from night to day or you can set it up so it changes from day to night so right now it didn't do anything actually uh, but don't worry it will after this round so after round one you'll be able to change the lights so um, you can go wild with this it's just a simple script that I put together uh, because it was requested and let me also take whoops okay so there we go that's the awesome guy with the awesome name so this video was requested by TMZ is super gay and he basically said like I won't tell you what to do with your channel but that will be pretty cool video and also haven't seen any anyone cover this subject yet so he is referring about um, uh, changing from day to night or night to day it's all about the light states and I will show you exactly what I mean and just, just take a look so the screen fades out and ta-da it's morning all right, and now if you're like, why is your map a little bit foggy? It's not fog. Like, sure, it looks like fog, but it's not fog. It's just atmospheric. Well, you, I, I guess that is fog, but it's the atmospheric fog as in... Uh, wherever the sun is, it will have, like, god rays and stuff. So you can see a little bit over there, but... You can definitely tell in the night because in the night the moon is located over there so the lights come from that that uh, that side of the map and they can see like amazing god rays over here so let me demonstrate the switching one more time so come on fade out and there you can see the amazing fogginess happening now of course if you have the more details you have in your map the better uh, it gets so yeah and you can set it up so once you turn on the power it, it changes the light states and and stuff like that uh, but I just set it up very very simply just as is all right, so what we have to do is, of course, open your map name. Um, what we want to do is let's do the scripting part first. So locate your map folder. So what you can do is just right click on your map in, in uh, the mod tools launcher and do open map folder. Go to scripts, ZM, scroll all the way down and double click and open your map name.gsc now if you don't see the .gsc extension what you can do is go to view and then make sure this box is checked file name extensions if it's unchecked you can't really tell if it's a gsc otherwise you have to look in the types here but i like it this way boom okay so you open it up once you have opened it up what you want to do is in the link in the description box below okay um, I might put it in as is or maybe I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna make a download link I don't think that I will make a download link so whatever it is if it's a download link download the thing but it's gonna be most likely just a text so go ahead go go ahead and uh, select the thing now first of all you need your thread Come on, there we go. So you will have this right over here, that part. 
what you want to do is copy that and paste it underneath zm user map double dots thingy and a main so underneath this line you add your threads so you copy paste it under this line and i did it right here so there you go and then all the way at the bottom gonna copy and paste this line and sure you can change it the way you want so you should be good if you do face errors i don't think you will face errors with those scripts done simply just copy paste what you want to do is open up radiant so your map into radiant open it up let it load let it do its thing so what you want to do is we can switch between one and two right um i think that's because yeah I, I, hmm, it doesn't work on the first round because i have it on one but okay sure uh yeah what we're going to do is we're going to change it up a little bit so we're going to go ahead and do a bit of freestyle press f7 i mean if you have a uh, game mode on which is f9 then press f9 to go back into the radiant view instead of the game view now we're gonna scroll all the way up and we're gonna select our um, sun brush sun volume whatever it is and then we're gonna go back into the volume and then we're gonna press f9 so we can clearly see what we're doing and then we're gonna press n for ninja <laughs> And then you can see here SSI 1, which is default morning. SSI 2 is the night. Right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that night on SSI 3. I don't know why, but people think that it's too much of a hassle. It's, it's, it, it requires too much skills or a lot of work to get an amazing looking map. I'm talking about the lightning, so atmospheric fogs and stuff. That is not true. All I did is edit a brush, lower like, like two volumes, and that's it. <laughs> so, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to three. Yeah, it, it switches back to, there we go. And then we go into three, we're gonna build that light. We're going back in one and build this light as well. However, now that I have changed it up a little bit, because I have a skybox in light state SSI 1 and SSI 3, so no more SSI 2, I have to go into the script and look for where it says 1. So 1 means SSI number 2. 0 means SSI number 1. Okay, makes sense, right? That's usually the thing with coding. So what we're gonna do is because it says here, change it to one, which is two, we're gonna set that to, uh, let's see, three. But what this basically does is as soon as it's reading the function, it's gonna say like, okay, do I need to wait? No waiting, sure, cool. So we're gonna set it to zero. So in theory, I should be able to load up the map and without me noticing, it's going to change the things and I'm going to be in morning. Whoops, I hit the sexy PC there. Okay, and then this is a loop. So between the round over, it's going to set it to three. Maybe I look like a fucking idiot. Let me see. Yeah, two. So because it's on SI3, I put it on in the scripts, I put it on SI2. So then we should be good. Okay, no, okay, we're, yeah, we're good, we're good. Two is three, and zero is one. Okay, never mind. Okay, guys, we're good. We're gonna go ahead and compile everything, and we should be able to, as soon as the, the game starts, we're gonna start in the morning, and then after round one, it's gonna switch to the night, and then after the night, after another round, it switches back to the morning, and vice versa, so stuff like that, you know. Like I said, we started off in the morning. That's cool. Now, again, if you, by the way, if you want me to make a tutorial video on 
how to make an awesome looking map like with lights and volumetric lights and stuff comment that down below don't be afraid to request videos bros okay i sound like pewdiepie when i say bros but yeah you get the point don't uh, be shy like if there's anything you want me to help you out with definitely comment down below maybe there's a video you want to request please be my guest comment that down below related or not related to the topic at all doesn't really matter okay so round two and it should work on the first round come on Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. It did it. It didn't really look that cool because of the fucking zombie blood. You know what I will do? I will put the new uh, thing in the description, okay? The, th the new script, the updated version. I will put that in the video's description. And it changes back to the morning. There we go. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing? Okay, so I've been testing this for a while now, and so far so good. It works, no flaws, nothing. It's going like smoothly as butter. Um, but yeah, man, there you go. That's how you change the skybox. And if there's a different version of this you want me to do, like maybe after a script, maybe after certain action of the player, uh, definitely let me know with the comment down below or just contact me, you know. All my social media accounts are linked in the description box below for you and I just ditched my Pekka Punch weapon. Oh well. Yeah, just go for it, contact me and I will uh, get to it. Alright, so, as you can see it works. If there's anything you want me to make a video about, feel free to request it with a comment down below or just through any social media accounts like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and stuff. Uh, everything's linked in the description box below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and subscribing. And also, thank you for requesting this video, man. It was fun to make. It wasn't really a challenge, but it was fun. Sometimes I don't like a challenge. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah, man. I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.